that one. Yep. Uh, Morgan Freeman. <laughs> and Matt Damon. <laughs> I think you all know how it works. I will ask one question and then I'll throw it over to you. Those microphones on either side. Um, Morgan, I'm going to come to you first of all. He wanted to play into, uh, into the sc onto screens for a long time and it didn't happen. Um, how does it feel to finally <coughs> play your friend on the big screen? Uh, it feels uh, rather terrific. Uh, this is a situation that um, was meant to be, meant to happen. And I know that uh, it's a situation that was meant to happen because I got Clint to direct it. Cool. Did you feel a lot of responsibility? No. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay, questions? First one then, front row, and then the lady, please. Um, good morning, gentlemen. Mr. Eastwood, uh, you're at an age when mo most of us would be taking life a little easier, yet you can behind this for you. Why do you continue to work so much and uh, so well? Do you want to answer that or should I? <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, <clears throat> you know, I just don't... Um, uh, age is... Uh, I've sort of planned on not working at this particular time in life, but nobody can plan on what they're going to do at, uh, when you reach my age of 49, <laughs> 39, or whatever Jack Benny was. Um, I just, uh, I just feel that I, I'm enjoying work uh, as more now than I ever have, or just as much, uh, certainly. And, um, and I'm at an age where I can uh, uh, do, uh, take on more challenges than I uh, have in the past, because uh, uh, I know more. Of course, you also at this age, you can forget more. <laughs> but uh, I'm trying to avoid that. And uh, I, I, just, uh, I just enjoy it. I, I enjoy uh, the process, and I enjoy making uh, films from behind the camera equally as, as to, to, to that of being in front of the camera on all those years. And um, I have no real, real reason. I'm, I'm kind of vamping around now, but uh, I don't, uh, I, just, I just enjoy it, that's all. I've been lucky enough to uh, work in a profession that, uh, that I have really liked. And, um, so I figure I'll just continue until uh, somebody hits me over the head and says, get out. <laughs> uh, Matt, you always look very handy when you're fighting in your other films. How does that compare to the game of rugby? And do you think the other players held back from rocking Matt Damon? <laughs> <laughs> Most, yeah. And the biggest reason being that, that it was Matt Damon's stunt double who was in there most of the time. <laughs> uh, no. Uh, yeah, I mean, Look, any time you're making a movie, it's, it's, it's all choreography. Uh, except for, you know, this game, it's, it's really tough to choreograph. It's, it's a, bit, uh, a bit more uncontrolled. And so a lot of the stuff that we shot was uh, what we called free play, which was just letting these guys go just nail each other. And then, uh, you know, and then Clint uh, captured that. So, so, yeah, there was a lot of it that it, there was a whole physical challenge for me to get the, ready for the role just because I was playing a very famous man who you know, everybody knows, and, and, uh, and so it's like a, any job, it's a magic trick, really. You kind of look at it and think about, okay, well, what can get me in trouble here, and uh, what, what can really take people out of the movie? Because ultimately, your only job is to, if, if somebody doesn't believe you for even a moment, then you've, then you've failed at your job, and you're, you're taking them out of the story. So you have to try and troubleshoot, uh, you know, when you're like a year away from doing it, okay, you know, what can kind of land me in trouble here, and, and, and what do I have to solve? So, so Clint helped me out. I talked to him a lot about, you know, Francois um, uh, is a big guy, and, uh, and I'm, I'm an average size guy, so I go, well, all right, well, you know, people know what I look like, and they know what he looks like. How are we going to get around this? And, uh, you know, Clint said, well, I can, you know, maybe you won't look 6'4", but, but, but maybe people won't say, oh, he's 5'10". Um, you know, maybe we can just get people to not, not ask the question. And, 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 and if we, you know, the little tricks of, of putting the camera higher and framing me to look a little larger in the foreground or little things or, you know, a little uh, insole in my shoe to, to give me another inch of height, you know, little, little, little things like that. And then obviously a lot of work in the gym and, and on the accent and stuff like that to try to be believable.